Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to tell you about different types of crystal systems and Dravet's lattices. Before going to discuss about them, uh, let me remind you about unit cell. So, how do you define a unit cell? Unit cell is the smallest cell and repeat, uh, repeating it in three dimensions, we can produce the total crystal structure, right? And these unit cells are further classified into two types. One is primitive unit cell, another one is non-primitive unit cell. So, primitive unit cell uh, means the lattice points must have only at the corners, okay? So, single lattice point per unit cell and non-primitive means it should have more than one lattice points per unit cell. If you see in this slide, the first one is a primitive unit cell where you can see the lattice points only at the corner and the remaining three uh, body centered, face centered and base centered. So, these are called non-primitive unit cells because along with the corner atoms, there are extra atoms at their uh, body centered position and on the six faces as well as at the bases. So, these are the non-primitive unit cells. Now, let us see about what are crystallographic axis. Okay. So, these axes are resulted by the intersection of the three coplanar faces of the unit cell. So, the angles between these faces or the axis are known as interfacial or interaxial angles. Those are represented with alpha, beta, gamma. So, all together with this lattice translation vectors that is ABC values along x, y, z directions and the angles, inter interaxial angles alpha, beta, gamma called as lattice parameters. If you see in this unit cell, this uh, alpha is the angle between y and z axis, beta is the angle between z and x axis and gamma is the angle between x and y axis. Okay, So, these are called lattice parameters. Based on these six lattice parameters, lattice parameters, unit cells are uh, classified into seven crystal systems. Okay, So, those seven crystal systems we are going to discuss now. So, now let us see uh, one by one. So, the first one is called cubic, next one is tetragonal, orthorhombic, monoclinic, triclinic, rhombohedral or tetragonal and finally hexagonal. Okay. Here you can see the seven crystal system diagrams, unit cells. Now, uh, let us compare uh, one by one. Okay. So, it is easy to remember, you can follow a code that is CTO, MTR, H. Okay. So, CTO, MTR, H. So, C for cubic, T for tetragonal, O for orthorhombic, M for monoclinic and again T for triclinic and R for rhombohedral and last one is hexagonal. Okay. And uh, cubic consists of three types of Bravais lattices and in which lattice parameters are equal that is A equal to B equal to C and alpha, beta, gamma equal to 90. And if you see examples, polonium, copper, silver, sodium chloride are the examples for cubic. And next one tetragonal consists of two Bravais lattices in which A equal to B but not equal to C. And alpha, beta, gamma all the angles are equal and you can see the examples there. In orthorhombic all the lattice parameters that is A not equal to B not equal to C but alpha, beta, gamma are equal to 90 degrees. So similarly you can find out in monoclinic, triclinic, rhombohedral and hexagonal. You can uh, see the examples also in the table. So, in which uh, you can see PIF these are uh, Bravais lattices, uh, P for primitive, I for body centered, F for face centered and C for base centered. So, let us discuss about these Bravais lattices in detail. So, the Bravais uh, lattice any of 14 possible three dimensional configurations of points used to describe the orderly arrangement of atoms in a crystal. So, each point represents one or more atoms in the actual crystal. And if the points are connected by lines, the crystal lattice is formed. So, the lattice is divided into a number of identical blocks or unit cells uh, characteristic of which are characteristics of the Bravais lattices. So, the French scientist uh, Auguste Bravais demonstrated uh, about these uh, Bravais lattices in the year 1850. So, that only these 14 types of unit cells are compatible with the uh, orderly arrangements of atoms found in crystals. So, these uh, uh, let us see uh, as I have already shown you the uh, different types of uh, unit cells. So, those are primitive, uh, face centered, body centered and uh, base centered unit cells. So, you can see the corresponding uh, diagrams also uh, here. So, okay, you have to practice these diagrams. So, these are very important uh, concepts in the crystallography. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you have any doubts. 
please send a mail to me